I mean, coming to school here, I didn't, I never thought about I'll, um, I'll be able to come to something like this, but I feel like I'm blessed and, you know, just thankful to be here. We'll take questions. Left side, third row. Switching over to the 3-4, how do you feel it was playing that in position from a 3-4 as opposed to a 4-3? Um, we played it in previous years, so I mean, I'm accustomed to it. I feel like all our guys will be used to it, but I, I don't think it'll be much different. I mean, it's it, pretty much the same technique. I just be inside shade. Right side, third row. AJ Ritchie was talking about just the Mississippi State defense principles that haven't changed from Coach Collins to Coach Diaz to Coach Sermon. Uh, what are some of those things that are consistent despite having three coordinators in three years? I mean, playing defense doesn't change. Every defense coordinator we come, we have come here, they might dress it up a different way, but it's, it's all the same thing. They want guys to fly to the ball. They want us to have juice and energy, excitement. I mean, just go out there and play and love love while you're doing it. Just have fun while you're doing it. So, I mean, tackling is one of the ones that, like, you know, all the coaches really touch on. Like, that and just being juiced up out there, having fun, just loving to be out there on defense. Left side, third row. Uh, AJ, in your uh, career in the SEC, are, are there any, uh, is there like a running back or a, an offensive lineman that you've gone against that's just been super tough that stood out to you? Like, man, like this guy, like it was brutal going against him. Um, my first time playing against LSU, um, I went against Leia Collins. He was probably the first, well, he was the first offensive lineman that put his hands on me, and I realized, like, dang, this is SEC. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, he was a great all-around player. I mean, he was strong. He was smart. It got to a point later on in the game, I was like, what can I do to try to beat him? So, I mean, he's a great guy. Then I got a chance to talk to him at the game, humble, humble guy. So, I had to say he's the best one I've won against so far. Uh, right there, also on the left side. I have to ask, how do you plan to buckle a chin strap around that thing? <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it, it does get in my way sometimes. You know, when I tackle people, it'll slide up and the hair get in my mouth, or it just slides all the way down. But, you know, hopefully I get the Brett Kiesel type thing and I can just push it all back. <laughs> just go for it. Right side in the corner. There was a columnist recently that wrote that the Egg Bowl has become incredibly nasty, too nasty. From your experience, what is that rivalry like, and does it need to be any more civil? Uh, me being from Mississippi, of course, the Egg Bowl is something serious, but I feel like both teams have you know, improved so much where the winner of that game could determine who's going to represent the SEC West and the SEC Championship game. So I feel like it is what it is. So, I mean, if, if – I mean, I feel like it's not that bad of a rivalry because, I mean, you know, I've, I've never experienced anything crazy. I mean, of course you're going to exchange words, across, you know, across the field. So that's every game, but I don't feel like it's gone too far. Any more questions for AJ? The left side, third row. Um, just looking at uh – I don't know, kind of the success Ole Miss has had in, in recent years. And, and now, obviously, you have the, uh, the, the NCAA investigation. At, at, what's the feeling about that in the Mississippi State locker room? Is it something players talk about at all? I mean, we really, we really haven't talked about it. I mean, it's, it's just something that you would want to try to avoid. I mean, just do the right thing, and you won't have to worry about that. So that's all I can say on that. Back right corner. What's it been like to get to know Coach Sermon and, and perhaps get his insights on how you can get better as well as somebody who's got that NFL experience? I mean, Coach, Coach Sermon, he's a great guy, people person. I can tell he's been in California for a long for, for a while because, I mean, he just he, – he, he really just brightens up everyone's mood. So, I mean, well, then we have defensive meetings. I mean, he's more, you know – well, every coach is in the business of getting you better. So, I mean – I like that about him, but I think I can tell that he's very passionate about what he does and, and he loves it. And as far as him trying to get us better, I mean, I can tell he's in the business of getting me better because he wants me to learn every position up front. 
So I just wouldn't be limited to playing four eye in the three four. He wants me to be able to play Viper, sometimes nose, and three tech. So I mean, I, I could tell he wants me to be able to be versatile so I can show what I really can do. Left side in the middle. On that same uh, sort of line there, you have a new defensive line coach, Brian Baker. He comes to you straight from the NFL, a long time coaching in the pros. Have you, how much have you learned from him and how different is he from David Turner? Um, well, they, they're not that different in a way because Coach Turner was a great coach. Every coach, D-line coach I had at Mississippi State has been great. So Chris Wilson, Coach Turner, and now Coach Bake. But difference between Coach Bake and Coach Turner, Coach Bake coached in the league, so he knows what defensive line coaches are looking from college athletes coming out. So, I mean, he, he, I feel like he can help me with that, you know, especially things I need to work on and the group needs to work on. So I, I think that's a big – Big deal having him come coach us. Any more questions for AJ? All right. Thank you.